from the venerable grounds of Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Boston Red Sox. John Shambi on play-by-play. -play. Chris Singleton providing the color. Well, Singy, when you consider the top hitters' ballparks in the sport, this has got to be one of them. I'll say this. Pitchers have to stay with their game. They can't look over their shoulder and think, I have to be fine and perfect on every pitch. Continue to pitch to your strengths, and you'll come out of here with a good outing. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just a little bit away from first pitch, and today's starter, Nick Pavetta. The spin rate on the curveball is incredible. Hitters know they're going to see a lot of them today. Stay back, be patient, and hit the ball the other way. Okay, all set to go. And now the center fielder, Corbin Carroll. Center fielder, Corbin Carroll. The why to kick the pitch. That's outside. And that's how this game gets started. Righty to the plate. Pitch misses there. Ball two. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Next one misses, and that's ball three. Here's a player known for playing better in day games, which is not always the case. I mean, day games are different, bro. Things change from game times to your daily routine, but he sure makes the transition look easy. And now the count is full, and another power hitter lurking in the on-deck circle. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. Now one away. Pretty nasty cutter right there, and you're seeing that pitch, that location a lot more these days, and you can see why. Very difficult for hitters. I think the great Mariano Rivera can at least partially be credited for that thanks to the career he had with the cutter. Just dominant. I tell you what, I felt like it was a moral victory whenever I could put that pitch in play. So I can feel for the guy right there walking back to the dugout. One down, base is empty. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Got him looking. Nice, efficient start to the afternoon. That's two out. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count just to pour it back. And now it's Christian Walker. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Pavetta, 31 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2013. Two out spaces empty. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And that is in for a strike. And it's one and two. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. That completes the strikeout, and that'll do it. We'll go to the bottom of the first. 0-0. Zero, zero. here in Boston and on the mound here today Zach Gallen and Singy he's a workhorse loves pitching deep into his starts we know he's one of the best in the game doesn't make many mistakes and Three if gone. he's in a pinch he'll Red make gone. up a pitch and he'll throw something that you've never seen before and stepping in is oh, the speedy Jaron Duran that one hit to right brings it in and a quick out number one. Check out the Red Sox lineup. 
A tough challenge in this one. An excellent arm on the mound. Singy, they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, man, you better turn on it. Rafael Devers stands in here, takes ball one low. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. And that one a little below the knees. And it's two and one. And there's the strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. The wind of the pitch. Ah. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, I don't think there's a hitter alive that has that it at curve. some point succumbed to that pitch right there. It just looks like it's in the zone the entire way, and then the top spin and gravity take over in the blink of an eye, and it's just such a tough pitch to lay off of. Now batting Tristan Casas. And a foul ball. Ball the one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Two down, nobody on. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And down on strikes. And it's a three up, three down inning. Red Sox go down quietly, scoreless after one. here at Fenway top of the second and now Jack Peterson Pavetta back to work he was late there strike one well a come and get me fastball right there he didn't look ready for the velocity I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today and Boog, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. You see a lot more of that in today's game with pitchers going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. Line drive, base hit. Coming home. The throw in. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. one nothing. Well, there you go. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. No outs, runner at first. And now it's going to be Gabriel Moreno. Makes the grab one away. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Boston's bullpen with some activity. Greg Weiser, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Jakes also throwing. A one down. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Here comes a pitch. Swings and misses. Had him out front for strike three. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt. On the other side, still a nice two-strike pitch, though. 
Alec Thomas now. Ball Off one. the plate, 1 and 0. Oh. Peterson leads off first with two down to the inning. And he chases that one below the zone. One ball, one strike. Just missed. No. A little bit low. Next offering is foul back. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 1 0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Fenway, bottom half of inning number two. Here now the Red Sox DH, Masataka Yoshida. And he deals. Ball. Off the mark there, ball one. And it's second. And fouled off. Fights that one away. Still one and two. At the belt and fires. On the ground right side. Throws the first in time. That's one out the bottom of the second. Batting fifth, not shortstop, Trevor. Making a move at third, pinch running for Boston, Bobby Dahlbeck. Now running at third day, number 29. Here's Trevor Story Bobby. now. What's the approach in a spot with a tying run 90 feet away? Don't try to get too big. Don't swing for a home run. Let it be an accident if you hit a homer. And I tell you what, if he does, this place will go crazy. Fought off foul. And now the 01. That's the ball. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Paul Seawall, the closer of the staff, is getting loose to finish this one off. Oh. Next pitch in for a strike. Going to count one and two. The shortstop takes the ball. That's inside. And now it's three and two. Willier Abreu on deck for Boston. With the tying run at third, winning run at the plate. Bottom half of inning number two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Big strikeout right there. And that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Infield was in. So now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now. Last out for the Red Sox in this one. And next for the Red Sox, Willier Abreu. He's got it. Ball game. And the Diamondbacks get a shutout on the mound. Pressure packed in this final inning. Tying run on base. Great running and diving catch to rob the base hit and also prevent that run from scoring. What a great job. A lot of excitement in that dugout. It's going to carry into the clubhouse. The final one to nothing for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.